Headache medicine has been so exciting in the last 12 months, it's hard to just say one thing. I should say we have migraine specific preventives, CGRP, monoclonal antibodies. But then I'd have to say that we understand the condition better just from epidemiological work, the CAMEO study that Richard Lipton uh, is presenting. And if I didn't mention that there were new acute treatments, multiple mechanisms, the GPANS, CGRP receptor antagonist and the DITANS, I'd be, I'd, I'd be remiss. But then if I didn't mention that there was neuromodulation approaches that didn't even involve medicines, where would I be? And if I didn't say that there were treatments for cluster headache, episodic cluster headache with uh, neuromodulation approaches, and at this meeting, the first announcement of the, the CGRP uh, monoclonal antibodies working for episodic cluster headache, and if that's not enough, um, treatments for chronic cluster headache, their highlights, the meeting is replete with highlights. At this meeting we're seeing studies that are advancing our understanding of, of, the, of, the, of uh, the conditions. So for example, there's a study from Arna May's group that's looking at the mechanism of neuromodulation and how it influences cranial autonomic symptoms, very detailed. We're looking at, we, we see a study that looks at how um, DITANS, that is Meditan, affect CGRP release in, a, in an experimental model. Very detailed. Stand back. We're seeing, uh, we're understanding that these new medicines will work for long periods of time. We're going to see an open label extension study. Normally people would yawn. But everyone who's gone on these medicines in the last four to six weeks wants to know what will happen in a year, what will happen in two years, what will happen in three years and we're going to see a study with study that will present that sort of data. What's incredibly exciting at the moment is we're seeing studies that will that illustrate basic mechanisms but we're also seeing studies that tell us about practical things um, that we can use in, our, in every day in clinic. A huge barrier I think in headache medicine is access to care it, particularly in the context of headache trained physicians. There are not enough. We haven't trained enough. If you're a patient, you've got to line up to see someone. You're going to line up for quite a long period of time. The American Headache Society is the place to get education for uh, a headache in headache medicine. And we need to double and redouble and redouble our efforts at training because there's a, there's a gap between, a yawning gap between the need and the availability of, uh, of people who are trained in the area. And it, it's a mission that we are certainly dedicated to.